I will just show you uh, two two BAs uh, on, on on these on these studies that arrived to me, uh, and um, um, Anna, which is here, will we, we'll speak about uh, a lens which uh, is uh, uh, very interesting uh, for the next for to tomorrow. We we are just in in, uh, in Switzerland. We are in a in a turn uh, very interesting because uh, we the 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 insurance reimbursement for the cataracts drops for 60 percent. So we have to imagine something new, uh, just that our clinic still uh, work and that we can pay all the ophthalmologists of the group. And uh, so uh, I, I look for what's happened. Uh, I, I, I look on a survey and uh, I look on the marketing chain. I look on the surgeon and then I will show you the, the, the problem that I have for, for this, uh, this meeting. First of all, uh, in Europe, uh, normally you have between 175 and uh, let's say 250 uh, uh, cataract surgery a year, which is not too much. And I was quite astonished about uh, this, uh, this, uh, this results. Then, when we continue with the practice scope, you, you know what is a, a market scope? It's just a questionnaire that uh, is sended by a lot of, uh, of ophthalmologists and you cross and then they, they go to, to all manufacturer and stuff like this. So it's, it's a questionnaire. So first of all, uh, all the, the surgeon who uh, discussed, it was about, uh, about 4,000 uh, of thermogist all around Europe, so it's quite a lot. So when they ask, uh, 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 do you offer a toric and a, or a presbyopia correcting in UL, uh, you see that uh, the offer is quite high because you have 60% 60, 60 uh, of the surgeon who uh, say they offer uh, 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 multifocal lenses. Then it's still more with the toric lenses, it's quite 80 percent, and with the uh, multifocal toric lenses, it decreases a little bit. You are uh, 40, 40 percent. Now look at this. Uh, uh, sorry, look at this. Uh, that's a premium uh, EOL that is really implanted in Europe. Oh, the surgeons say, well, it's it's not that. The surgeons say that it implants that. So you can div divide it by two, because normally when you speak with a surgeon, uh, when you divide it by two, you have the re real number what he's doing. It's quite normal. <laughs> so all, all around the life, <laughs> I have this feeling. So look at this. Uh, you have spherical AUL for 93%. And that's what the day life of, of the cataract surgery. Then, uh, if you look at the toric IUL, you have 3.3 percent. And you, you look at the multifocal IUL toric, you have 1.3 percent of the implantation, and a multifocal lenses is 2.1 percent. So that means that we discussed already for 15 years, a long, 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 long hours for only seven person, which is crazy. <laughs> it's really crazy. It's, it's, it's something that when, when I realize that, it's nothing. And I, I don't understand why all the factory trying new thing for presbyopic and stuff like this, because the market is not here. It's just something I don't understand. And when you, 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 you ask them, they say, well, you know, all the ophthalmologists or the surgeon, they love that. So we give some <laughs> samples and we come with the other lenses. And it's really, really interesting, this, uh, this uh, system. So that's uh, the, the next uh, step. Uh, uh, sorry, no. It's here, here. Sorry, I'm, I'm miss up. 
I do this, sorry. And here is a preference uh, when, when you ask the surgeon uh, what, what the, the preference, so you see that they, they like very much trifocal lenses for 37.4%, uh, bifocal 20%, accommodative lenses 1.7, and just uh, the multifocal 40% uh, 40, 40%. That's just, just, just a preference of the, uh, of the lens. Uh, and they, the, the, when, when you look at that, that means that the marketing of, the, of all the factory are quite well, because the answer you can see here, they prefer trifocal toric for 55.2 person. That means that the marketing is working pretty well. Inside. And that's uh, the, the statistic for, uh, for, for Switzerland that, that, that we have. And we are exactly in the, really, what they say is correct. So we don't do a lot of, of, of things. It's, uh, uh, when you look, we, we have 3,000, it's many clinics and, and many surgeons. And the filter for us is a, a primum lenses. Toric, I, I, I work like crazy about Toric, and it's just 5.5%. Bifocal is 4.1%, and trifocal and because it was so little, so I, I, I put all, all the trifocal and toric inside. So it's really not too much. And that I asked my, my optometrist to put the first 100 patients between 2016 and now. And you look, uh, it's a binocular, just, just a, a very, it's a second beard that I, I, you can see. The trifocal toric in, is in blue. It's, uh, we, we work with size, uh, uh, at Elisa and the fine. Uh, it's all, all, only these lenses. And when you look at the trifocal spheric, it's quite less good. Uh, the result is quite less good. And I, say I, was, I was very happy because I say, wait, I get it. And uh, you continue to see intermediate, it's the trifocal spheric is also less good, and the near is pretty bad. What's, what's mean? I look at all my patients, because I, I don't look very much at the chart, and all the trifocal spheric, I have some problem with decentration and stuff, so they drop very far away to compare with the, the other one. And so I, I cannot compare because I have trouble with the trifocal spheric. And I didn't have any trif with the trifocal toric, I didn't have any problem. So you, I compare something completely different. I have some trouble with some lenses and with some other nothing. So when you compare something, well, I ask my optometrist to do this work. Well, it's like this, I don't have too, too much time. And I say, wow, I, I have a good reason. You have to put trifocal toric. <laughs> I go this way. And that's a, a very big bias. It's nothing. So forget it. It's just because uh, trifocal spheric, I have seven problems on it. And that drops the system. So to improve the multifactorial problems, to, to, to put more lenses of premium lenses, it's a pretty difficult system. And the first, is, the first problem that we have, it's inside to marketing the people. We, we, we have far, around five uh, clinics. So you speak with the secretaries. We say, hey, remember, you have to speak with the people. We implant multifocal lenses. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Optometrist, optician, orthoptist is quite well. They, they are interesting on, they, they work with us, and so they try the best to sell a premium lenses. And suddenly comes a surgeon, and he says, no, no, I prefer to be safe. So the, the, the patient is completely mixed up, you know? You, you go till the surgeon, and, say, and, and so he... At, at, the, at the time the surgeons say, no, it's not good, then you lose everything. It's really, 
a big, big problem because the, the people before the operation is not happy and he say, somebody says something and then the, the, the surgeon says something else. What's happened? So it's, that's why it's very difficult. And we have, a, in Switzerland, everything is very, is very expensive, even the surgeon, anyway. The price of, of, the, of the lenses is, is, a, is a huge problem. It's decreased, but it's still a lot, of, a lot of problem. You pay more for a trifocal toric than a trifocal. So you have more trifocal. So it's also a biais. And the, 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 we, we have to share with uh, independent and uh, dependent of surgeon, and that's also a problem. And then the clinic, at this time, they are really, we, we have really to, to be careful not to close. It's, it's really a, a problem at this time. We, we think we will not close, but it's not so, so easy. So all this stuff, all, when, when you finish your presentation, it's a biais, because it's a long, long work to increase these premium lenses. Remember, 6.1% 6 of all your lenses, which is it's really not too much. So the surgeon, not the surgeon in this, in this room, but perhaps the other one, it's, it's a, the most challenging problem because they say, when we, we speak in a seminar, they say, yes, we put a lot. And behind that, they don't put too much. And we I have seen, because I have quite a, a lot of a, a chief resident, it's not so easy to you have to to have you have to be to be a quite good surgeon to put a multifocal lenses because as soon as you have a, a little problem you forget it the people will be not interested uh, will be not happy a zonulolis, uh, uh something with a capsule and then you have the the lenses which is not exactly in the center and it's not good you have, you have less good results and so we, we start to, to, to have a, a technical improvement to all the surgeon and to try to, to, to optimize the, the, all the chain of these premium lenses to, to, to have better results. And it's not so easy. And we start, uh, Anna will present you tomorrow with the head off like you, you present us, but the, the little one, the Lucidis. And we have quite good results. Why to, to put some uh, uh, toric, and that's a toric, uh, why we have to put in a trifocal, we have to uh, prefer the toric one. I will just go quickly here. So you, you see the, the comparison between monofocal, two, uh, bifocal, and the head of. That's something in, in the literature. And the, you see that there is not too much difference. If you look at a, a diffractive uh, pattern, and I, I, I put always this uh, picture that you can go, uh, very well understand. To have a good vision for near, you have one focus and a second focus here. If you had a, a trifocal, you have, okay, easy, we, we, we pass through. Uh, I, I will pass to, to the MM, MMTF uh, you see that trifocal, uh, we have discussed that uh, yesterday, uh, with the trifocal at 80 centimeters, you have a better, a better, it seems that you have a better vision. MTF curve, I will pass, contrast sensitivity, I will pass, head off, I will pass again. And if you look, at, that's a Gatinel uh, system, between a Technis bifocal, a Technis symphony, and a fine vision, you remark that you have different type of circle. But the, the head of symphony, like Gatinel say, you don't see very much difference. And the technique bifocal, there is not really a lot of difference. With the info, like mentioned uh, Joanne, Joanne, there is a difference. 
And so Lucidis, there is a difference. But the Technis Symphony, I think it's just, they sell something that uh, I don't understand anyway. <laughs> but I don't know, I don't know if it's a real head-off. That's, that's a big question for me. It's a, it's a multitude of focal points. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's something I'll be covering in, in my talk, but we'll yeah. do that tomorrow. If you look at the def defocus curve, uh, it seems the symphony is, is better, but I really don't know. And we just start with this Trinova Quiva. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's based uh, in Holland, but uh, the manufacturer is uh, in Turkey. And uh, they have something interesting on the sinusoidal pattern. I think. Um, Pavel, you have done you have done that in Jiminy. You have done uh, uh, um, you have done a series yes. of these lenses. Yes. You could perhaps speak about it. it was quite interesting. I have a presentation already, but I don't think we have time. Well, it's a no, good lens. tomorrow, tomorrow. It's a good lens. It's a good lens. No, but I don't think it's it's going to wipe out all the others. <laughs> no, but, but I, I will be interesting that you speak about that. Okay. <laughs> so let's go to continue. We we Buy use me another wine. <laughs> 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 he said wine, not wine. <laughs> okay. The pronunciation must not be the accurate. <laughs> uh, and uh, I stick with wine. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we we use mainly at Elisa because it's quite a good lens, but because when they send an at Elisa, they send the the day they send two highs, two lenses, and they come back at once. And the, the cartridge is absolutely fantastic. It's really the best in Europe or in Switzerland and in France. We don't have any problem, and we have a huge problem with Acriva because we don't receive the lens. We have to wait three, six weeks to have it. So it's crazy. So we don't use it. Because the patient, when they pay, they want to be operated, and we remark that more, more and more, they want to have both eyes. And before that, b before this year, I was absolutely against that. But it's a real demand. Like we speak about before, laser, premium lenses, both eyes, you catch the guy. It's interesting. So the catering of this lens has to be the next day or the next week. If you wait for six weeks uh, lens, uh, the people doesn't wait. They, they go somewhere else. And we, I, I prefer the plat lenses because I have the impression that with toric lenses, they, are, they don't move too much. And I think a lot of people agree. And with the capsule spanning, with the tension ring, it's more difficult to turn it. And that's why I put always a tension ring. Um, I like also this uh, this fan vision, but not too much. And why you have to? <laughs> I, 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 just, I just tell you be, why because because this this type just for the toricity. I, I, I made it. When you you put this lens, it's quite you 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 know that after one hour or two hours, you can move it. And you remember, I tell you that already a long, long time, five degrees of changing is a lot for the toric. And you, you, you will, I, I tell you all, all the time the same, but you have to correct all the, the, the astigmatism, the toricity of, of, of the vision. If you want to put a B or trifocal, and it's always the same talk that I, I give you for a long time, but you want to be to be like this, so that's why you put an asphericity and you want to have a sharp focus. Okay? When you use, uh, when you have uh, an astigmatism, you have one cut of lens and you think it's like this, uh, uh, an astigmatism. Remember, you have one focus and one focus here. But it's not at all this one. The astigmatism is like this in reality, okay? 
So in between these two principal focus, it's blurred. All right? If you want to have too sharp focus for one for near and one for far, you have to wash the astigmatism, all right? And if you have a trifocal, it's the same. So that's why we correct all the time by what you want, the astigmatism of the patient. No, it's to know how much you have to correct it. Because when you, you put your lens, you have one, uh, one value. When you look at the pentacam, you have another value. And don't look at your, your machine because it's always wrong. That's, that's, uh, everybody knows that. So it's quite difficult to choose the correction. And now, when you look at the formula, what you have to correct, we have, at least we, we use three different formula. And when you use a formula with uh, the correction of the, uh, of the toricity, you just, and you say, okay, I take this formula. There, there's a lot of formula and a lot of, <laughs> You don't. You swim at this time. Of chance. It's quite. A, it's quite a good chance. You. You. And then you. You think about and. Uh, but uh, size. It's quite. The size formula is quite good. We. We, we use. We have quite good result. Acriva is completely different uh, formula for for the toric purpose. And um, when you when you speak with spine uh, with. Um, with some, some friend or with the, uh, the East, uh, ASRES uh, formula, it's, 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 it's quite different. So if you remember that you have to correct your astigmatism uh, with uh, uh, a trifocal or bifocal, it will be great. So to increase uh, the, the take home message, to increase uh, the, the, the premium lenses or the trifocal lenses, you have to work in your home, at, at home, with all your people, and it's pretty difficult. Thank you very much.